you know, give some thanksgiving or some praise. Um, so I'm just going to start. Father, we just thank you for tonight. We thank you for the opportunity to meet together to share. Yes, and Father, yes. we ask that you would be our teacher, mm -hmm. that you would teach us through your word. We come submitted to your word, Lord, as the um, as you as your word. We, we submit to your word as your word, Lord. Um, and we ask that you would speak to us, minister to us, adjust us, um, encourage us, lift up the low places and bring down the high places and, and make a level path in our hearts for you, Lord. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Father, thank you that we can enter your courts with praise, whether there is live worship or not. Um, Lord, our hearts desire to worship you. We come together because we want to be in unity together and musically harmony is a word of unity. We ask, Father God, that you would help us harmonise tonight that by your spirit, not by power, not by might, but by your spirit, says the Lord. And I ask, Father God, that as Richard teaches and shares the word and unpacks it, that we would all hear through the Holy Spirit, uh, even immeasurably more than might Richard might think he's sharing, because you're in the peace as well. So we ask, Father, that um, yeah, we we do worship you. We we don't worship your word, but we're so glad for your word and. We're glad that you, Lord Jesus, are the living word. Help us worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Swamini. Prasang Savya Magadhi Pirana Hansa, me Sandhya Kala Bhansa Barakana Swamini, Vachana Yugena, Richard Barakana Swamini, Katerunga Napata the Pragnava Nuana Dina Swamini Hansa Pradeli Darawa Dina Swamini, Obahansi Gi Vachani Ginanansa Prasut Obahansa Sutti Kana Swani Apati Vachani Poshani Kananisa Swamini. Obhansi Yahapatu Devana Sapayak Navadu Tradana Devian Mahansa Swamini Obhansi Ginama Swami Me Sandya Kali Obhansi Bardino Siala Swamini Obhansi Kamatras Siala Karanika Lidana Swamini Obhansi Shidat Me Purana Swamini Vagema Vachane Girana Richard with the Vachane uh single to Parvartranka and Vihanga with the Bahansi Bark and Namagi Devian Hansa a Vachane Apita Swamini Obhansi a Vachane Apita Ahara Blessed may Ghana Swami of Hansa Dow Karana Magade Piranasa. Obahansa Sutika no Prasan Sakana Gauri Dana Mahimedana Swami Madhya Obahansi Pamanak Madhivan Hansen Sasutika no Swami. Jesus Christ Swansiginami. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, praise the Lord. <laughs> I, I wanted uh this was the message I was actually going to give on Sunday, but I switched it at the last minute. And um, um, it, Sunday's message was different to what I planned. And so this is sort of what I was going to give on Sunday, but it's actually been moved to Wednesday. And I, I wanted to look at, I've got th three passages. I don't imagine for a minute that we're going to get through all of the passages or all of the scriptures I've got. So, um, but, you know, it's good to have a few scriptures up your sleeve. So we're just going to get through what we can. And I want to look at a subject and the subject is foundations. So uh, I want to... <laughs> So, yeah, foundations. Now, now, the foundation is the most 
well, is a very important part of a building. Yam godenaki laki tama suisheshita visheshita vuma de tama ativaram. And you have to have a good foundation for the building to stand. So you need a good good foundation. And I want to look at a passage. It's mentioned in two, two of the Gospels. It's mentioned in Luke chapter 6 and Matthew chapter 7. And it's about the two houses and the two builders. So I want to look at those two passages. And I want to look at the subject of foundations. Now, a foundation is a substructure. What does that mean? It means it's something that's under the surface that you don't see, but it's very important. You see, if you were to see two buildings and one had a foundation and one didn't, they would look the same. But as we will see from reading these passages, there are things that will reveal what the foundation and how good the foundation is. And we're living in an age, I believe, we're living in the the culmination, the culmination of all things. And, and Hello. Oh. Now I can hear you. Before right. it was, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're we're living in the culmination of all things. The the end of the age is is fast coming upon us. And this is when the foundations that things are built on are going to be revealed. As we read in the book of Hebrews, you know, God is going to shake everything that can be shaken. So that all, the only thing that's going to be left is that which that cannot be shaken. So we have these two stories in, um, oh yeah, I just want to say something else about the, 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 the hidden part. There's a scripture, as I was preparing the notes for this, that a scripture popped to my mind and it's, you know, talking about hidden and it's from 1 Peter 3, 3 to 4. Uh, and Paul's writing, I uh, know Peter's writing about, you know, dress code, but, but, you know, the rest of the passage doesn't just apply to, you know, how we dress. It's, it's, it, this, there's, it's a lot deeper than that. <coughs> It says your adornment must not be the external braiding the hair and wearing gold jewelry or putting on dresses. Uh, uh, verse three and four, right? Yeah, I'm just read three so far. Uh, is it Second Peter? 1 Peter 3. Oh, sorry, 1. I was in the second Peter. So, uh, yeah. So, it's on a 
you have got it on the piece of paper we hunger at the back yeah uh nubalage vastra handimada saha pitata alankare nova kila kiyana but let it be the hidden person of the heart namut uh dira noyana hasir imen yukt sarasimen yuktavu site atul manushya gena katha karana with the imperishable quality of a gentle and quiet spirit which is precious in the sight of god devyan wahase idire itama anargavu anargava tibena muruduvu nishpala nishchala gatiyak nemati dira noyena sarasima gena kiyena so it talks there about the hidden person of the heart obata peenawada me sangavunu hadavate deyak gena kiyanne and we were talking about the foundations of a building being hidden api katha karanne me godenagili atule tiyena apata nopinena athibarama gena and i would say the most important part of our life is often hidden from other people it's the hidden life it's the secret life that we have with the lord mang mang amang vishwasa karana api hama kenek gitte e wage api api ekeneka dakinawata wadiya itamat wedagatma de e sangavi tibena deviyan wahanse ha samaga paudgalikawa tiyena apage sambandhatawaya it's not necessarily the bit that everybody sees or everybody is aware of eka me hama kenekma dakinne ne hama kenektama pilibuku wenne ne and that's where we need to make the adjustments the corrections and 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 to do the work in ne esane tamai api sakasuruwam wendona piliwalata wentone api yam yam de hari gassa ganta tinana etana tama api hari gassa ganta one so i'm going to look at one of these passages um i think we will look at the luke passage api balamu luke potata yamu might look at both because they're both Interestingly in the gospels you have sometimes you have more than one account of a story you might have two accounts um sometimes you will have three accounts on the odd occasion you will have four accounts of the same event obara pena da apita subaranchi pot hatarak thiyena me hatare ekama kathandare samahara mohota wallala hatara watawak liya vela thiyena dan metana luke pote matthew pote dekema ekama de liya vela thiyena and i found it's worth looking at the different accounts and comparing them because sometimes there are subtle differences that give you more information iti mama vishwasa karana sabawin ma api ekama kathandare unath me subaranchi pod dekema tiyen eka kiyewama yam yam sangawunu de apata eli darawa wena and it's a bit like putting a, a a jigsaw puzzle together you put the different pieces together api nikan e kara පසල් එකක් හදනවා වගේ එක එක තැන් වලට ඒක හරියට පිළි පිළි වෙල වෙනවා. I I found this out while dialoguing with Muslims. I learned a lot from Muslims. I'm very thankful to Muslims. මම ඉතාම ස්තුතිවන්ත වෙනවා මුස්ලිම් වරුන්ට. මක් නිසාද මම බොහෝ දේ ඉගෙන ගන්න උන් එක කතා කරන කල. Because they often would pick a verse from one of the gospels that suited their argument. story. සමහර වෙලාවට මුළු කතන්දරේම අපිට දැනගන්න මේ හැම කොටසක්ම අපිට අදාළ කරගත් යුතුය තිබෙනවා. So let's start with Luke's account. Luke gives an account of this story. Luke තුමා ඇතන දෙනවා මේ කතන්දරය ගැන. The story is often called the story of the two builders or the two houses. මේ නිවස දෙක සහ ගොඩනැගිලි දෙක කියන කතන්දරය. Why do you call me Lord Lord and do not do what I say? Everybody who comes to me and hears my words and acts on them I will show you whom he is like He is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid a foundation on the rock And when the flood occurred the torrent burst against that house and could not shake it because it had been well built The one who has heard and not acted accordingly is like a man who built a house on the ground without any foundation and the torrent burst against it 
and immediately it collapsed. And the ruin of that house was great. Luke Hyveni Pariche de Hathalis Hyacita Hathalis Namedaqua, Mark in the Nokura, Swamini, Swamini, Matakiani, Maglisad, Malanga Tavit, Magi Vachanasa, Eva Pavatuna, a cart to Saman, a day nubula to pin one name, Ohu, Gambura Tahara, Parvatiak Pita Attiva Ramla, Giak Sadagat, Manushek to Samane, Jala Galmak Pemina, Sedapara, a get a gasu namut. A gay hunting good and a gat the boo bevin, silver and a berry wit, Namut asa, no curanaya at the bar magnetu, Pulavipita, Giak Sada got Manushe could a samane, said a pare get a gas away, a lame equatune, a gay vinashe the Mahatvi. Amen. So that's the first one. Let's now let's read the one for Matthew, and, and maybe if you spot any differences, you, you could just point them out and, and, and mention them because there are. Small differences between these. They're not major, but there are some differences between these two passages. Therefore, everybody who hears these words of mine and acts on them may be compared to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against that house. And yet it did not fall for it had been founded on the rock. Everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and slammed against that house and it fell and great was its fall. Ehin Megatini Mateu Hate Visi Hatresita Pahalata Ehin Yamek Magi Mevachana Saeva Pilipadida O Parvati Pitamage Gia Sadagat Nuaneti Manushe could a Samanaker and Labane Vesi Vesa Jale Gala Hulanga Hama E get a guessuea E a Parvati Pita Pita Tibunu Bevin Nuetune Yamek Magi Vachana Saeva Pili Nupadida O Belli Mate Tamage Gia Sadagat Nuaneti Manushe could a Samanaker and Labane Vesi Vesa Jale Gala Hulanga Hama E get a guessuea Eka Vetune Eka Vetima the Balavatvia. Yes, as was a may watch in a kia nima calcali, Samuia, Unwahanse, again be Makan Vishmita Wuva, Makmisada, Unwahanse, own Gilianan Minova, Bale at the Kinakumen own to Ganu Seker. So, how many of you know that if you're in the middle of a tornado or a hurricane, it's not easy to build a house? Obata Obata the Hangeno other than Peter Kunatua Kari Chanda Marutia Kariapa with the Peminedi, Emo the Giak Sadan to Harima Pasui. In fact, I would say it's probably virtually impossible to build a house in the middle of a tornado <laughs> storm. Harriet Makian or Nang, Kunatua Chanda Marutia Samag Giak Godanagan Behe. So the best time to build is before the storms come. Hodam Velava Tamapi is a Chandamarutin at a Pratamagi Godag Nagagan Naker. But it's not simply a matter of building before the storm comes, it's how you build before the storm comes. Me Marute in Chandamarutin at a Godanagima to Vada, Kesse the Oba made the Godanaganikinakama Vedagatin. Did anyone spot any differences uh, just out of curiosity between those two passages? Yam kisi venasak or but any kang vetehenoa the me pariche de decatule. No, okay. In one of the passages, he said that uh, he, he built his house on the rock, uh, and that's it's very simple, just says he built his house on the rock. In the other passage, it says that he dug deep and laid a foundation on the rock. Which would seem to suggest the rock wasn't on the surface. There was something on the surface before the rock that had to be removed to get to the rock. Uh, at the time, a Parvatiak Mata Gudinaga, the acre, a Parvati, Vatkarant Venua, Harala, may make a Atibaramada Manta. 
And in fact, later on, it says that, you know, there was ground in one passage. Uh, he built it on the ground without any foundation. The other one says there was sand. So one says on the ground, one says sand. So the foolish man just built his house straight on top of the ground. He didn't dig, he didn't do any digging down to the rock. He just built his house straight on top of the ground. But the wise man, it says, he dug deep and he obviously removed everything between uh, that was between the rock and him in order to build directly onto the rock. And so he, he, he eventually got to the rock and then he built on the rock. Now, as Christians, the analogies here are fairly obvious. We know that Jesus is called the rock. Jesus And that we are, and Paul says in another passage that I hope to look at at some point is that no other foundation can any man lay except Christ Jesus. So we see that Jesus is not only the rock, he's the foundation that we're talking about here. And we can see that this, the ground, um, you know, is, or, or the sand, sand, sand often in scripture speaks of people. People are called sand. God said that to Abraham, your descendants shall be as numerous as the sand of the sea. Mm. And you know, ground again. The dust is 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 spoken of as the nature of man. From dust you came, and to dust you return. So that's talking of an earthly nature. And these, th this picture is talking about individuals, but I also believe it's talking in a archetypal fashion. If you understand, I, I will try to explain what I mean by that archetypal. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah. sorry, we hunger. Um, <laughs> symbolic of symbolic of all humanity. I think on one level it's talking about the individual. And on another level, it's talking about two massive houses. So it's talking about two individuals. And also, I believe it, it's kind of talking about two big houses. You see, there are, there are many different sides to Scripture. Scripture isn't just single-sided often it has many facets many angles because it's the word of god and it reflects god god's nature is that he is has many facets he's, he's he, he can say one thing and he can within that one thing he can say many things now the two the two houses is this is talking about our individual lives how we should build our lives on Christ how we should, how we should not build it on 
the world and men and and the world system and worldly things and whatever else you can think of that you could possibly build your life on your life should be built on Christ ඇතරම කිතුනෝ ලෙස අපි සැබවින්ම ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ නැවති අතිවාරම මත අපි ගොඩ නගා ගත යුතු අපේ ජීවිතය ලෝකයේ මතවත් මිනිස්යන් මතවත් ලෝකයේ ක්‍රමවේදය සැලැස්ම ඒ කිසිම දෙයක් තුල අපි ගොඩ නගා නොගත යුතුයි but corporately and in the big picture we see that mankind as a race has built his life either on Christ which is the church of course the church has built its life poduwe gaddi should be built on Christ let's put it that way poduwe gaddi me manushya sanghatiya attarama e e ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ නැමති ඒ අතිවාරම මත ගොඩ නැගිය යුතුයි කියලා ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේ කියන්නේ. And the world has built its life on the sand and on the tra- transient things, temporary things. ඒ ලෝකයේ ක්‍රමය නම් ලෝකයේ ගොඩ නැගිල්ල නිතරම ඔවුන් ගොඩ නගා ගන්නේ ලෝකයේ ක්‍රමයට සහ මිනිස්යන් මතයි. And we see these two houses or two cities in the book of Revelation. අපි එලිතරව පොතේදි දකිනවා මේ නගර දෙක ගැන. We see the new Jerusalem coming down from heaven. ඒ ස්වර්ගෙන් පැමිණෙනා වූ නව ජෙරුසලම which is the house that God is building. දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ ගෘහය. And we see Babylon which which is fallen. It says Babylon is fallen. Babylonia. And it's very striking it says you know fallen fallen is Babylon and the passage in here said that and great was its fall it's almost an echo you know revelation is almost an echo of what jesus is saying here that babylon fell you know is fallen which is which is the house that's built on sand the world that's built on sand ay to gura api attarama me jesus wahanse kiyana deema ekama de aaya me anuwartane wenawa api dakina elidarawwe kiyana babylonie wetima මහත් වැටීමක් වුණා කියලා භයානක ලෙස වැට කඩා වැටුණා කියලා Now Babylon is a house that's built from the ground up. බාබිලෝනිය කියන්නේ මේ පොළව මතුවේ සිට උඩට ගොඩනැගුණු ගොඩනැගිල්ලක්. It's man trying to reach he built you know the the Babylon was based on Babel which is where men built a tower and they they built upwards to God. ඒ බාබිලෝනිය කියන්නේ මිනිස්යන් විසින් පොළව ඒ පෘෂ්ඨයේ සිට ඉහළට උඩට දෙවියන් වහන්සේව ට ස්පර්ශ කරන පිණිස ගොඩනැගු ඔවුන්ගේ ගුරුහයි. But when we look at the kingdom of God we see that something first has to come down before we can go up. නමුත් දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ රාජ්‍ය සෙනෙවේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ රාජ්‍ය ඉහළින් පහළට එනවා. and this is why we see the the new jerusalem coming down from heaven ekenisa tama alud givusuma e swa ihalin pahalata enne it's not initiated by man it's initiated by god ek aarambha kare manushyek nobe ek aarambha kare devyan wahanse mai see every true work that god does is initiated by him obviously amen e hem satyu devyan wahanse ge kriya wakma අපි <laughs> Has anybody before we carry on has anybody got any questions is anybody burning to say please please just butt in at any point and say something whatever 
අපි තව ඉදිරියට යන්නට කලින් කාටාරි ප්‍රශ්නයක් තියෙනවා දෙහෙම නැත්තම් යමක් එකතු කරන්නට අවශ්‍ය නම් කරුණා කරලා කතා කරන්නට නෝ ඇනිපරි වෙහංගා දැන් දැන් මේ ගොඩනැගිරි දෙක ගැන කතා කරද්දි මේ අද එක ගොඩනැගිරිලා ගැන කතා කරන්නේ මේ ක්‍රිස්තියානි දරුව වුණාට ඒ දෙවියන් වහන්සේ තුල රඳා පවතින නැති අය ගැනයි අනිත් පර්වතයේ කියන්නේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේ තුල රඳා පවතින අය ගැනයි නේ ඔව් ඒ කියන්නේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ කියන පර්වතය මත අතිවාරම මත ගොඩනගන කොටසයි ලෝකේ ඉන්න කොටසයි කියන්නේ ලෝකේ මත ඉන්න කොටසයි ලෝකේ ඔව් යා foundation which is Christ and the uh, the rock which is Christ and some they build up their lives uh, the ways of the world and the worldly ways so that's what she spoke again absolutely yeah so yeah. you know that, that's why it says Paul says no of the foundation Christ there's a wonderful hymn that's on Christ the solid rock I stand or other ground is sinking sand it's, it's <laughs> fantastic අලංකාර ගීතිකාවක් තියෙනවා ඇත්තටම ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ නැමැති අචල නොවෙනස්සන පර්වතේ මම සිටගෙන සිටනවා අර මේ ගිලෙන වැලි වල නම් හිටගෙන ඉන්න හැ කියලා So we see foundations are really important in our lives. ඒක නිසා ඉතාමත් වැදගත් මේ අත්‍යවාරම කියන එක. Because our buildings will be tested by storms. There will be storms. අපගේ ගොඩනැගිලි සෝදිසි කරනු ලබන්නේ අපට එන්න වූ ඒ ඡන්ද මාරුත කරනකොට ගැනයි. And those storms will test us. මේ ඡන්ද මාරුත අපිව සෝදිසි කරනවා. Sometimes you get a second chance, you know, you'll go for a storm and you get a chance to rebuild and start again. I've been through storms where I've virtually lost everything and because I didn't build very wisely and I've had to start again. සමහර වෙලාවට ඔබට ඒ දෙවනි වරටත් නැවත වාරයක් නැමති ඒ උපකාරය ඔබට ලැබෙනවා නැවත වාරයක් කඩා වැටිච්ච දේ ගොඩ නගන්න මම මේ වැනි දෙයකට මූණ දුන්නා මට සියලු දේ නැති වුණා මම නැවත ඒක ගොඩ නැගුවා But there will be there will be a time when it it just there just won't be the space or the ability to have a, a, another chance සමහර අයට ඒ දෙවනි වර හම්බෙනේ වාරය ඔවුන්ට ලැබෙන්නේ නැහැ. And Paul talks about this in another passage I want to look about where he says every man's work will be tested. පාවුල තුමා මේ කතන්දරේ මං ඔබ වර්ගන යන්නම් එතනට කියනවා හැම කෙනෙක්ගේම කර්මාන්තය සෝදිසි කරනු ලැබෙනවා කියලා. So we've looked at those two two houses there. අපි දැන් ගෙවල් දෙක ගැන බැලුවා. I want to move on to another scripture. පිටව වචනයකට යමු. which is Hebrews chapter 6. අපි හේබ්‍රෝ 6 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයට යමු. verses 1 to 3. එකේ සිට තුන දක්වා. And this verse also talks about foundations. මෙතන තත්ත්වාරමක් ගැන කතා කරනවා. But the interesting thing I find about this passage it says that um let us at the end of the passage Paul says well if it is Paul who wrote Hebrews he says let us go on to maturity if God wills Metena avasane di Paulu thuma meka liwwa nan kiyenawa unwahansege kemata tula api muhukura yama dakwa yamu kiyala and it is almost as if he's saying god is saying in this passage if your foundation isn't correct then you you won't go on to maturity and until you've mm-hmm. made the foundation straight god may 
hold you back from going further until the foundation is correct. We'll read the passage anyway. Mm. So it says, wherefore, leaving the doctrine of the first principles of Christ, let us press on unto perfection. Is it the third verse? It's six verses one to three. Any on the back of the page, if you've got the paper with you. Yeah. How much did you read, We Hunger? Did you read uh, it all? Because uh, in the Sinhala Bible, uh, I mean, uh, starting bit is the uh, end, end one. So that's why in the English and the Sinhala, it was uh, uh, so differently stated. So that's why I started from the first verse. And it was not mentioned in the first verse. It's the end of the uh, verse one. Oh, so it was so that? long. <laughs> Sounds very confusing. <laughs> uh, never mind. Yeah. So let me just read this in English anyway. Wherefore, leaving the doctrine of the first principles of Christ, let us press on unto perfection, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works, of faith towards God, and of the teachings of baptisms, and of the laying on of hands, and of the resurrection of the dead, and of eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permit. Metanara man kaling kyo pe pari chede oba kyo gan edi anti mariki na devi anvahase ida dena seek nam api ese karan ne mukela. So it's 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 almost like in that last verse he's saying this we will do if God permits. Like there's a kind of a clause there that you know if your foundations are correct you'll you'll go on. Yeah. And I believe one of the great needs in the church today and in all of our lives, maybe, you know, is, is that we become mature, we grow, we grow up. I, th I think, you know, I, I don't think it would be a remiss to be saying that, you know, the church suffers greatly from immaturity. And it's saying, you know, these are the teachings that are elementary. These are the first principles of Christ. Repentance from dead works. Obviously, re repentance is the very beginning of the message of the gospel. It says, repent, believe, and be baptized. But sometimes... Repentance isn't even included in the gospel message. It's come to Jesus and he will fix your problems. Come to Jesus and he will fix your problems. But the problem is you need to repent. Yeah. You know, and repentance means a complete it means a turning around, it's a change of mind and a change of actions that results yeah. from a change of mind. And, you know, so I, I believe that that, you know, it's true that, you know, in Christianity, repentance needs to be taught clearly. Repentance is 
we are not just victims of circumstances. We are guilty sinners who need to be forgiven. Api yam dia sedu elai kete goduru enan no wei namut api wardhakari tiya daran nawu papish tehan bawa dana gantu ani. Now I know it's not as simple as that. There is there are circumstances that affect a behavior, but even so, we still have to come to a place of repentance. Amen. Api am verdile swata gantu pas samahar mohtala la api am yam dete mula dino namut ehamade kamatula api pasutevili wei me. ियम के And, and and in other words not making excuses but accepting you know that we were wrong <laughs> and that god was right eh tava duratat kiyenawa nan api piliganta yutui api veradi kiyala he also says, says a repentance from dead works ore penawada me mala kriya walin pasuta evili wimak gana kiyena now what is a dead work ai mala kriya kiyala kiyanne You see, a dead work may be something that is a good work. Samajh malakriya ya patkriya wa kwente puluang. The tree of the knowledge of good and evil was the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Or a pena the ya patte saha na pur dena gani me gaha. You know, many people will will try to negotiate when you do evangelism. They say, "But I'm a good person. I do these good things." Mm-hmm. Uh, उदेसाद मलक्रियाली api unwahase kere adahilla tibiya yutui ta tabagatti yutui and it says the teachings of baptisms so there are um there are various there's baptism in the holy spirit there's baptism in water uh etra bautisme gena katha karana jala bautisme shudhaatma bautisme it talks about laying on of hands attabi ma gena katha karana and then it talks about the resurrection of the dead we need to have a, a, an understanding of the resurrection of the dead malavun gen nevata nakitima gana katha karanawa that the dead will be raised and they will face god and there will be a you know some will go to everlasting life and some will be separated e malavun wa nevata nakittena dawasak kenawa e dawasedi kotasak sada kalika jeevanirat kotasak sada kalika maraneetat niyama wenta yana and then it talks of eternal judgment सदा काली के विनिश्य के नेत्र का ताकरना। Now these these last two, interestingly enough, well, eternal judgment has been under a huge um, attack in these days. मैं दावसे मैं सदा काल विनिश्य के ना हर एक 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 आकार देवल किए ना। And and many Christians have um, many Christians have come to deny. the doctrine of eternal judgment boho kitunu an paminila tibenawa me sada kala vinishya e kiyanne pratikshepa karana tattwayakata and and that's becoming quite popular in some christian circles samahara kitunu ramo tula meka harima prasiddha deyak bawata tempat vela but paul here puts this down as a foundational principle प्रमुख स्थान गुलाधर्म्यक्त संधान करना 
So you see how important it is we have correct foundations. ඔබට පේනවද කොච්චර වැදගත්ද කියලා හරියාකාර අතිවාරමක් ඇතුව සිටීම. And what usually happens if is if, if you move it on one area you'll find you're beginning to shift in other areas. ඔබ එක අංශයකට ළඟා වෙද්දී තව අංශයක් ඔබට පේනවා සෙල වෙනවා. I've seen people reject one area of teaching in the Bible and then before you know where they are they're accepting other things and they're changing other things it's you know we need to stick with what the word teaches man api devan nohansage vachane taddin allah gena sitiyutu kituno inno ekanshiyak allagena ite passe anithanshiya tula selavena ite passe thavanshiyak allagena thavanshiyak tula selavena e aakara noviyetu Uh, and we need to hold hold on to the word of god stand far, firm on the word of god devian wahansege vachane mata sthirawa apa pihita sitiya yutui and i think this takes us back to the first passage about building our lives on what jesus said and following what he said and and building our lives on jesus atara metanin api waragane yanawa ඒ ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ නැමති අත්තිවාරම මත අප ගොඩනගා ගත යුතුයි කියන අපි කියව පරිච්ඡේදයට. And although hell is an unpopular subject, Jesus spoke more about hell than he did about heaven. ඇත්තම නිරය කියන එක හරිම අප්‍රසිද්ධ මේ පණිවිඩයක් වුණත් ජේසුස් වහන්සේ දේව රාජ්‍ය ගැන කතා කරනවට වැඩිය නිරය ගැන කතා කළා. So if Jesus spoke about it and believed it to be a reality then I have no question with Jesus I have no I'm not quarreling with Jesus Mata randu kisima sandu akwat kisima vivade akwat ne unwahanse ekka me karana gana And you see when the fog of deception comes over a nation or a land these things are obscured but when revival comes these things come back to the surface uh atadama uh e pibidim paminedi me deval me sielu de ismatu vela udata enawa they begin to recognize their need for repentance own anduna gannawa own kochchara pastu tavili viyutu de kela they begin to recognize the danger they're in of eternal separation from god ඔවුන් කොච්චර අන්තර සහිත ස්ථානයක දින්න දෙවියන් වහන්සේගෙන් වෙන් වෙලා සදා කාලයකට වෙන් වෙන්න පුළුවන් කියන තැන ඔවුන් අඳුර ගන්නවා. I know stories of several revivals where there was one in America where people were hanging on to the chairs they were so frightened they were going to fall into hell. මම දන්නවා සමහර පිබිදීම් ඇති වුණා ඇමරිකාවේ ඔවුන් ඔවුන්ගේ පුටු අල්ලගෙන තද කරගෙන හිටියා ඔවුන්ව නිරයට වීසි වෙයි කියලා. that they were convicted. එච්චරටම ඔවුන්ට ඒ ඔවුන්ගේ දේ එලිතරව් වුණා. like the men on in acts chapter 2 what must we do to be saved they cried out. ඒ ඒ ක්‍රියාපොතය අපි දකිනවා මා ගැලවෙන පිණිස මා කුමක් කළ යුතුද කියලා අහනවා. There was another revival in England where people gathered around the police station. Uh ek pibidimak tibuna engalante police thana vatha senaga rassuna. Because they were convicted of their sin and they didn't know where to go so they just handed themselves into the police as we're convicted we've been convicted of our sin help what do we do? On on the vatha huna on yam yam vanchawal karala tiyena eka nisa on gihila police yeda bara unna me 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 de kara kiyala. See when these things become unclear and uncertain it's because we're living in an age of deception. Me deval no pahedilit saaneka tiyenne ai api inne me ravatili kara yugeyakai. And we must hold firmly to that which we believe that the Bible teaches. Deva vachane kiyanna wo deta api thaddin apa allagana sitintone. It says in the last days there will be many false teachings there will be doctrines of demons there will be deception me avasana kale attatama e buru igenvim vanchakari igenvim enawa kiyala vachane tiyena so this is why we build our house on the rock eka nisa thama krishna swahanse kiyana e parvate mata apa godana gagatiyutte 
I think we probably don't realize how much we're influenced by the society we live in. ඔබට පේනවද අපි කොච්චර සමාජය විසින් අපට බලපෑමක් ඇති කරලා තියෙනවද කියලා because it has we're constantly seeing things from the tv the media we're constantly bombarded with the principles of the world e loke tibena um වචනයේ alvagena sitima and as i showed from luke 6 that we build our lives on the rock not on men not on man's opinion not on man's wisdom but on the wisdom of god e manushyage prakshama matha nevei api godunaga ganne deviyan mahase matai we've got 5 minutes left i have got another scripture but i don't think i really want to open that one up because we won't have time to really do it justice oh. so oh please go on <laughs> do you want to go on to another one okay we can have a oh. look if everyone's willing i will look yeah. at one, one last yeah. one yeah so the last one i want to look at is 1 corinthians 3 verse 10 to 15 ek korinthi 10 uh me ෆෝන්ට් but each man must be careful how he builds on it for no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid which is Christ Jesus now if any man builds on the foundation with gold silver precious stones wood hay straw mm-hmm. each man's work will become evident for the day will show it because it will it is to be revealed with fire and the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work if any man's work which he has built on it remains he will receive a reward if any man's work is burned up he will suffer loss but he himself will be saved i think well, I, don't, i haven't got i don't know where the last bit of that is <laughs> yeah he himself will be saved i think ගොඩනැගුවා So it says yeah it said he will be saved as though by fire so that was the bit I couldn't find Amen. so paul speaking here and he's talking about building and he says he's a builder but he, the only foundation he lays is is jesus that's the foundation that he lays paulu tuma damana ekkama attivarama nan christus vaanse namathi attivaramai now you will be called i believe most of you here will be called to lay foundations in in people's lives samaharalata obbuwa kendawala athi attivaram damanta manushyan tula 
and, and you need to be sure that you lay the foundation that's that's given in the scripture which is jesus is the foundation ap namuth oba hondata madaga tyaganna e jesus wahanse nemati attivarama tamai oba damiyutte you see paul didn't say oh well i lay my own foundation you know i just build how i think mama godina ganni mata ona dei mama sitana dei anuai kela situ kiwa thing he knew that it was all about jesus and he was making sure that jesus was the center jesus was everything for the people that he was leading namut paulu tuma kiwe christus wahanse tama kendra sthane christus wahanse tama atti varama e pita tama sielu de godina genne kiyala that he says in one passage that he wants to present the church as a chaste virgin to christ he, his job is he wants to give the church to jesus that's his mm-hmm. his desire and his heart's ambition eka pariche de ko hukiyena me christus wahanseeta me nikalal manaliyak lesa sabahawa piligannuna pinisa ohu me de karanawa kiyala but then he moves on to talking about how you build on that foundation ida passe ohu katha karana keseeda me attivara mata oba godena genne kiyala and he says you know as we saw in the first passage you, you know he says that the 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 foundation the houses will be tested by storms ara palaweni ekey api katha kara wage me apita sada paharawal gedara vita gasaddi eka sodisi karunu labana now most of us don't like tests godak kaye sodisi kirim walta kemathi naha i hated my driving test මගේ රියදුරු ඒ ඒ සෝදිසි මේ අම්මාව සෝදිසි කරන එකට මම කැමති නැහැ probably because i kept failing it මොකද මම දිගටම ඒක අසමත් වුණ නිසා but we have to take tests නමුත් අපි ඒ යම් යම් සෝදිසි කිරීම් වලට භාජනය වෙන්න ඕනේ for our well being and for the well being of others අපගේ යහපත උදෙසා තන්න අයගේ යහපත උදෙසා and the driving test in particular is to make sure that you're safe to be on the roads රියදුරු ධාවනේ සම්බන්ධ ඒ ඒකත් ඒ වගේ අනි ඔබටත් අන්න අය උදෙසත් the one corinthians 3 talks about a test that we will all face that's going to happen after we leave this world where what we've built will be tested මේ මේ කොරන්ති පොතේ කියන මේ කතන්දරේ අපිව සෝදිසි කරනු ලබන අපි මේ පොළවෙන් පිටත් වුණාට පස්සේ කුමන ආකාර ගොඩනැගිලාද අපි ගොඩනගලා තියෙන කියන එක. It says for the day will show it because it will be revealed with fire the day. So what day is he talking about? මොන දවස ගැනද මේ කතා කරන්නේ? ඒ දවස ගින්නෙන් ප්‍රකාශ වෙනවා කියනවා. He's talking about the final day, isn't he? ඔව් පේනවද මෙතන කතා කරන්නේ අවසාන දවස ගැන. and somebody once described it that god will put a match to everything on that day ek kenek vikstara kara devan wahanse gin gini petti ekin ginnak dalwana ay daata kiyala and everything that's left <laughs> will be you know will you know what 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 will burn will burn if it won't burn it's 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 quality hamadema dalwenta puluwan hamadema dalwila e pitchen nathi de pawatin tyanawa So again this is a warning to us you know to build carefully and to build uh with with God to allow him to do the work through us. Oba re penawa de me hama de ma apata anathuru engavim devyan wahanse denama devyan wahanse samaga godanaganta unwahanse ge kemathe prakarayata godanagenta kiyala. Now in this passage it's not saying that you know you will lose your salvation obata peenad metana kiyanne obage galawim obata nati wenawa kiyala see we're not saved by our works obata peenad api galawila tiyenne apage kriya walin nobei we're saved by god's grace api galawila tibenne deviyan wahansege anugrahayen salvation is a gift that he gives to us galawima kiyanne deviyan wahansege apata pemenunna utayak gak as it says in in If Ephesians 2:8 for by grace have you been saved through faith and that not of yourselves. Eh episa deke ate kiyena nubala galewune anugrahaya karana kota gena nubalaage kriya walin nove kiyala. But it, this passage also but does talk about there being as as, as there's two current uh, Ephesians 2:8 and 9 says that he's prepared good works for us. This passage does talk about 
our work's been either rewarded or dis- dis- destroyed. What a pain of the Namut me parichi, the Tulapagay Kriya, so the Sikirimari Lakpen about Peno, Aker, Eko Ekata, Unuhase Vipaki, then I say Nata make a devil of Vinash Ventiano. He says that the fire will test the quality of each man's work. If any man's work which he has built on it remains, he will receive a reward. Pavatina Karman, the Akiamek to the Anona make a guinean precaution in Anissa, Unuhanse Kiano, Eker, Pavatin Tiano Akela. If any man's work is burned up, he will suffer loss. Yamekta silu ginnin silu de devil and one nang ekota lava venuakino. But he himself will be saved. Namut ohuma gala venuakila kino. You see, I think one of the big um, errors that's it. That that I've seen in over the years in, in in the church is that we don't teach people that we teach people what well, once you say that's it everything's great you know you're going to get to heaven there's nothing almost like there's nothing else to do you're saved well you know. Ering ekka igannu yimak thama kiyena ob galavima thapa munnohanse piligatta mo okkoma hari ob galavila tiyenne etenin ihar mukut nahe kiyala. And of course that's true it's true it is fantastic we are saved. But there's work to be done, and that work needs to be built properly. And there's rewards to be gained, and there's forfeits, should I say, to, to be lost. Um, Somebody once said that you know you can be a, a, a soul saved but a life lost. In other words, you've you've been saved, but you've missed all the opportunities that you've had, all the um, chances you've had. Uh, ඔබ ඔබට ඒ පැමිණෙන ආවු සියලු අවස්ථාවල් ඔබට ගිලිහිල යන්න පුළුවන්. And as I look back over my life this is you know I have I have areas where I have regret because I know that I've wasted time I've wasted opportunities I've failed to live up to what God has called me to do. ඔය සමහර අංශ තියෙනවා මගේ ජීවිතේත් මම ඒවා ගැන පසුතැ වෙනවා මක් නිසාද උන්වහන්සේ මට දුන්න අවස්ථාවල් මං මග හැරලා තියෙනවා. And I know that God will wipe away every tear and he will remove every regret. But, you know, I, I, there will be a period where I believe that we will see where we've missed what God has called us to. And one reason I teach like this is because I don't want anybody else to 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 do that I, i want everybody to uh, make the best of their life and to fulfill the calling that god has given them one thing i've learned about the devil he's a great he's the master at distraction ඒ යක්ෂයා ගැන මම එක ලොකු කාරණයක් දන්නවා ඒ දේ තමයි ඔහු අපේ අපිගේ අවධානය කඩ කරන්න ඉතම සමත්. If he can't stop you will distract you. ඔබට ඔහුට ඒක කරගන්න බෑ නම් ඔහු කරන එකම දේ ඔබගේ අවධානය කඩනවා. And get you interested in something else. තව දෙයකට ඔබගේ හිත යොමු කරලා ඒකට ආශ වෙන්න සලස්සනවා. And you may not realize you may go in a circle you may go on a detour. <laughs> we talked in the old testament we talked in the about the old testament where in the wilderness they went round in circles but of course the christian life is supposed to be a straight line and namuth kitunu jeevithaya kiyanne me kelin tibennavu gamanak in fact, somebody calculated that what took for 40 years was actually a two-week journey. They just kept going in circles instead of going on the, in a straight line. 
කෙලින් ඒ මාර්ගයේ ඔන්න යන්නේ නැතුව ඔන්න අක්‍රාකාර මාර්ගවල හැසිරෙමින් හිටියා so i think i'm going to leave that that's so that's just uh you know an, an encouragement to us to press on you know um recognize that jesus has saved us we are his children but also that you know we we you know we mustn't just sit back and and think that you know amen yeah uh, jam wants to say something what do you want to say to him? Um, <clears throat> ephesians 2:10 um says for we are god's handiwork created in christ jesus to do good works which amen. god prepared in advance for us to do so every one of us um has got um good works that god has prepared in advance for us just us to do um and he he is a god who loves to give and to reward and he really wants us to build up our rewards in heaven because he loves us so um yeah so that that's what i often do go around sort of building up treasures in heaven <laughs> knowing what i'm doing and people think i'm quite mercenary but <clears throat> i'm focused on this verse amen amen e de vachana kiyana me piyasa pote siyalu yahapat kriya wala hasirina pinisa deviyan wahanse eva purwen suda nam kala kela iting apita athrama mage jeevithe gannawa nan ay kiyanne e apite vipaka ras kara ganna pinisa apite ape jeevitha kale tula me dewal unwanse e kamatha lesa karannata puluwa So has anyone got any comments anything to say? Katari ama kiyanda tiyenawada? Abigail who's uh John has said please keep Abigail in prayer. Honora told me she is a little better and now able to sleep. Hi yeah Honora that was me. Uh yeah All can right. I pray for, can I pray for them and people can just a minute. Yeah of course can yeah yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we just thank you for Abigail that's safe in the hospital near us. Uh, we pray that you continue to heal her. We pray that you continue to deliver her from this illness. We just pray you give her peace and especially, Lord, that you'd help her to keep up her faith strong in you, that you just show her that you're with her and that you'd help her to know how much you love her and, and that you do care about her and help her to stay strong. Um, we also pray for Honora that you would bless her with all these cares on her shoulders. We pray that you would lift her cares and she would know that the burden is somehow light despite all of this. That you would just be there in great power for both of them. And Lord, we do long and really ask for this young woman's life that you would ultimately completely heal her from this illness. In Jesus' name, Amen. 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 Lord, yes. Okay, Father, we just thank you for tonight, and we just pray that we will build our lives on your Peace word God. and on the sure Amen. foundation of Jesus. Amen. We thank you that you are our foundation; you are our rock, Amen. and a rock speaks to something that's very solid, immovable, um, that cannot be budged. And we thank you that we have a God like that that can't be moved. Amen. and in these days ahead help us to cling to you to stand on that rock to stand on the truth that you are the truth of your word the truth of your very being yes lord and father help us to fulfill what you've given us called us to do um each one of us it says in that passage in ephesians 2 uh verse 10 uh it talks about good works that you've prepared for us so mm-hmm. you've already got things that you've planned for us to do you've got jobs for us to do you've got missions for us to do you've already prepared things for us to do father and, and help us to find those things and to fulfill those things lord we want to hear those words well done good and faithful servant mm-hmm. on on the last day we want to be able to hear those words that we were we were faithful and that we we serve you faithfully yes, and in these days you know of testing help us to stand firm in these days of testing to to be solid in these days of testing lord that that are coming on the earth and, mm-hmm. and to if there's any areas in our life that we need that still sand or mm-hmm. 
um, that we need to remove. Yes. Um, help us to remove those areas, Father, um, so that we can be built on you. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Thank you, Jesus, that you are the solid ground. Mm. And, and we bless you for that. Amen. 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 Thank you, Richard. Thanks, Richard. That was really Thank good. Thank you, Richard. Amen. Amen. God bless. God bless you. All right. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Bye.